I mean, 35 year old man who has over 500 plants and is always indoors and doesn't have a social life. And guess what? You're spending the entire day with me today. <laughs> Yay. Take the sun in the park. This video is going to be chaotic because I've actually never done this before. I might be acting like I've done this before, but I've never done this before. I low key do not know what I'm doing. How it transitioned from the plant room to the kitchen and what it has to do with plants. Actually, I'm here because I want to prepare some fertilizer for my plants. So this is neem fertilizer. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of neem fertilizer, but this is a neem cake. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Look, basically like this, you know. And I've had a hard time applying it directly like this, so I figured I'm gonna use my blender to blend it into a powder and then from there use that to fertilize my plants so now you see why we're in the kitchen but while we are here let me tell you guys the itinerary for today because we're still going to come back to this kitchen to cook jollof rice yes jollof rice so obviously we're going to do some gardening and then from there i've honestly been craving jollof rice so i'm going to take you guys to the market to buy ingredients for jollof rice and, and also i think i've also run out of groceries so maybe take you guys along to the supermarket as well to do some grocery shopping so it's going to be a day of like plants lifestyle and cooking yeah it should be fun so let's begin we have a lot to do today it's not going to be a boring day let's begin the way I am doing this, you think I have done this before. I've honestly never done this before. I don't even know if this blender is actually going to be strong enough to blend this. I don't know if I can explain this properly, but let me see if I can do so. This is neem fertilizer. It's basically fertilizer, an organic fertilizer made from neem oil. And um, so not only does it have nutritional um, value, but it also serves as a pest repellent as well, as a, pe as a pest treatment. So, again, I want to blend it into a powder to see if it's gonna work. Fingers crossed. I don't think I add too much. It actually worked! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, it is working! I'm just gonna pour it into this jar and then I, I'm actually really happy because this oops this fertilizer has been pretty much oh god guys I'm so disorganized like what am I even doing? Let me get like a spoon to see if I can scope it out. Hold on a sec. So I'm just gonna pour it directly into this jar. Guys, this video is honestly quite chaotic already, and yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm actually happy that this is actually working out because this has been in storage for a while. I tried to use it directly on my plants like this, but like what I noticed was that this would just have this mold. It would just turn into mold and I was just like, but with this as a powder, I can just put it on, on my plants and I'll show you how to apply it anyways. I'll show you how a plant to apply it, but let's finish up quickly and move on to the next thing for today. I think I have gotten enough and I'm happy that um, I was able to do this without destroying my blender because I was worried that the blender was going to explode but yeah let's move on to the next itinerary for today well I have to clean this place up first but I'll meet you guys in the plant room we are back inside the plant room with our freshly blended neem cake fertilizer I honestly cannot wait to try this on my plants if you guys have noticed that this Raphidophora tetrasperma is leaning against the wall, that's because one day I came to the plant room and I saw that she had fallen down. <laughs> the pole had broken from the base and Madame just fell down completely to the ground. I know what, I don't think, I was going to change her pole, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I actually like how she has just leaned towards the wall and the plan is to allow her just grow, like just grow across the wall. 
Hopefully she doesn't damage the paint to the wall. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just let's just pray that that doesn't happen. My next itinerary is to report my variegated monstera. She's in the need of a report. But before we do that, I want to show you guys firsthand how the Nigerian sun is determined to destroy and kill my plants. <laughs> Let me show you so you have a better understanding. Jesus! Let me show you firsthand the wickedness. Of the nigerian sun here so one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna try to rescue some plants outdoors from the crazy nigerian sun especially plants in my backyard it's been crazy hot uh there and very sunny and some of the plants unfortunately are getting sun scorched so the plan is to move some indoors i, I did already move this madam indoors also look at what the sun did to my fiddle leaf fig burnt it and I'm glad because this plant is supposed to be native to Nigeria. So how is it that you're native to Nigeria yet you can't take the sun in the comments? Jesus! What I was sitting on just broke. Oh my God. This video is going to be chaotic and I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's going to be a realistic day in my life. So yes, the plan is to bring in some plants outdoors inside. The ones that are really getting sunburned. I'll take you guys outdoors in a couple of minutes. But... I want to report a plant that is in dead need of reporting and also use the opportunity to fertilize it as well. Let's, let's do this, let's do this. I'm reporting her and I also fertilize her with that neem fertilizer and I have a feeling she's going to grow bigger leaves now that she's in a bigger pot and now that she's been fertilized as well. So let's go outside and check out the plants outdoors and see what plants we can bring indoors and rescue from the Nigerian sun. Let's go. Guys, look what I saw when I came out. Look what I saw when I came out. Don't jump on me. A grasshopper it looks really cute, but these guys are so destructive. Like they can, in the garden, they can really, you know, eat up your entire plant. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to unalive it promptly. I just need to quickly go get my insecticide. Stay where you are, I'll be back. Guys, I'm back. This is the insecticide I use. Um, I've noticed that this brand is mild and not as corrosive uh, on my plants. But let's get this done. I'm scared. I'm just gonna. Yeah. That should be okay. That should be okay. It's beautiful though. Yeah. But no, these guys are destructive. Uh, they are not endangered in any way. They are destructive and they are pests, considered pests here, even in um, farming. So I'm not doing any harm to the wildlife. So what I do next is I just rinse the part that uh, the insecticide um, touched. I just rinse it off with water. And it should be fine again it's not very corrosive like other brands so i use this for grasshoppers and fast moving um, large insects in the garden and to make sure like animals and like birds or reptiles do not have access to the carcass i typically typically pick it up add it to the soil and then just bury it in the soil again yummy 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 manure for my plants thank you for your service dear grasshopper
backyard i just wanted to show you guys my back door entrance what i have been doing here i put this cbb plus both us here and it has latched onto the wall so the plan is for it to just form like like a trellis like around the door if that makes sense but this side of the backyard things are looking cute things are looking good and all but when you start moving over that is when you begin to see the effects of the sun so the sun here is quite harsh unfortunately look at my poor baby my poor scomiferum she is sun faded and also sun burnt as well and um you begin to see some casualties of the sun yeah look at that sun burnt. So look at these guys here there's some sun burning i mean obviously it's not so bad um but i don't want it to get any worse so the plan is to move some of these guys indoors anyways let's get to work i think i'm going to report this one and move her indoors um i have a hard time keeping her water inside that corner there and i can be begin to see that she's been to creeps up from staying dry for too long so Move her into another pot and then move her in. So that's the plan as well. Let's continue. And in her place, I'm gonna put this Aglo Nema. Uh, I can tell that she's beginning to like, you know, show, show signs of sun stress. So I'm gonna move her there where it is completely shaded and she's gonna look better. Sorry, my poor baby. Sorry it took me so long to do this. <laughs> I am going to move this bed of paradise indoors right next to my window but in its place the very good monster that we reported we have in terms of the rearrangement I moved this pothos inside here I moved that running mat there as well can you see her? And then, of course, our variegated monster right here. They're all gonna do well, and they're all shaded from this evil Nigerian sun. Yeah, so speaking of the Nigerian sun, it's beginning to shine hard. So, let me quickly report this one, and then we we take some plants indoors, and then from there, go to shower, and then go to the supermarket and the market and cook jollof rice oh, a lot, a lot. But let's move on.
So guys, we're finally done bringing in the plants from outdoors into here. And I honestly like the new arrangement. I like it, honestly. This was really stressful, more stressful than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Now, I wanna go shower, drink, something cold rest and then from there we're gonna go to the market we still have time it's just like 1 p.m so we can still cook our jollof rice today let's go <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Let me go and enjoy my meal. Bye.